What's going on guys and welcome back to another Jumanji Drew Automotive and today I'm going to be going over the Kia engine recalls. Now the Kia engine recalls vary from year to year but typically it goes from 2011 to 2014. It also goes for Hyundai vehicles as well for those specific years as well. So for Hyundai we got the Hyundai Santa Fe Sport from the year 2013 to the year 2014. For the Sonata that's also from the year 2013 to the year 2014. We also have the Kia Optima from the year 2011 to the year 2014. The Kia Sportage from 2011 to 2013. And the Kia Sorento from 2012 to 2014. So just to let you guys know, the recall for Kia models and Hyundai models is because engines for those years have been failing. And the reason they have been failing is due to debris that was left in the engine when the engine was manufactured and it causes the engine to fail and then your car is going to stall out so to kind of let you guys know what happened with my kia i have a kia optima 2013 gdi engine it's a theta engine so it's a theta engine recall so anybody that may have those vehicles for those specific years go online and check that out check out the information but i'm gonna kind of go over that with you in this video so pretty much like i said it has debris within those models and over 1.4 million vehicles have been recalled also some of the issues that can arise due to this is that say you moved addresses and kia has a previous address on file they may send that recall letter to that previous address so just to make things safe for you best thing just go to a kia dealership and ask them or go online or call i would also recommend if you guys have had issues call this number i'm going to put it in the description i don't know if you guys could see it but it's 1-800-333-4-KIA for 24-hour roadside assistance and they will kind of tell you what you need to do if you guys for whatever reason are going through this recall issue and say your car stalled out or broke down on the side of the road and your engine failed or your engine blew something like that call that number and typically i found this whole process out when my engine failed so there are when you first get your vehicle typically if you get a car new you'll have a 60,000 mile warranty if you pay a little bit more you can get the 100,000 mile warranty and i found out originally and it was kind of sketchy when i first bought my car a hundred thousand mile warranty seems like a lot and it kind of made me wor like worry that maybe something will go wrong with the engine. And after this whole experience, I honestly probably will not buy a Kia again because the engine is one of the main components of the vehicle. And for that to fail, I wouldn't recommend. That is a complete risk. And I've read many stories about this where people are on the side of the road, their car fail. And the thing is, there were so many complaints and cars coming into the shop at Kia dealerships that they opened a class action lawsuit against Kia Motors because of the failed engines because apparently they didn't do a good enough job to clean out the debris or they didn't you know do enough testing to know that there was this issue within these vehicles so pretty much what happened with my car my car had 96,000 miles I was driving and I was speeding quite honestly and it's kind of a good thing that I was speeding because because of that I found out earlier that my car had the recall issue. So I was on the beltway, I was driving really fast, and then out of nowhere when I slowed down, my car stalled, it turned off, all the lights within the dashboard turned on, and I had no idea why. So I continued to drive, turned back the car, turned the car back on, and continued to drive, and it seemed like it was okay. Then the very next day, I went to drive it again, and I drove probably 20 miles everything seemed fine but then when i came to a stoplight then as i continued to try to drive again once the light turned green it sounded like the inside of the engine was grinding metal and it sounded awful and i could barely accelerate and it just sounded like my engine was going to go out at any second i ended up having to drive to a kia dealership that was 23 miles that it was so it was closer to my house I would also recommend if you go to a Kia dealership or if you are having this issue with your car or if you're worried or concerned that your car because of it it falls within those years may have that issue get it tested go to a Kia dealership and say I want to check if my car has this issue and if it's possible that it has the recall 
so that they can fix it. Also, when this originally happened, they may ask you at the dealership that you provide records for the maintenance of the vehicle, like oil changes and all that. Now, there are websites, I, I remember I read on Forbes.com because of this issue that because of the class action lawsuit, they stopped requesting or asking that you submit uh, that you submit the, the maintenance forms to show. Because for me, for example, I always did my, old, my own oil changes. So that is something I did not have. So if they try to say, oh, we can't check your car or we can't do this unless you're able to provide maintenance records, say that you read online on Forbes.com, check there and say that you read that they're no longer requesting it because they were having such a massive influx of people returning their Kia Optimas or Sorrentos because of the, the recall issue and because of the class action lawsuit because they tried to hit me with that and say that I needed to provide those records. But I said, I already read that you guys no longer have to require that and Kia does not require it. So if you guys take your car to a dealership and they start talking about you need to provide that, just argue it and dispute it. Also, if your car is in the shop, Call the, the number that I just showed you on the side of the window, the 1-800-333-4KIA, and tell them if my car is in the shop, that if it turns out that the Kia or that the, the recall is the issue for my car being in the shop, that they compensate you for those days that say if you don't have another car and you need a rental, tell them to pay for those rentals if it turns out that your, your engine fails and it's because of the recall. Don't settle for anything less. Do not pay out of pocket and make yourself have to spend more money because of an issue and for a lack of professionalism when it comes to Kia. This should not be an issue. The engine is, like I said, one of the main components of a car and it should not be failing, especially under, under 100,000 miles. If you're doing everything that you should in terms of maintenance and everything and you're taking care of it and you're maintaining it. So if this happens, make sure to go. But it's pretty much the issue is inside the engine block where the rod bearings are and there's debris metal debris that at some point it could happen at any time when you get the car up to a hundred thousand plus now when i got my car and my en my engine block fixed which i also thought i was going to get a brand new engine but they told me that they only changed the engine block so it depends on the severity of your engine fail or the engine damage will which will determine how much work they will do on the engine for my car for example i only needed a new engine block so they replaced everything within the engine block so don't expect that you will get a brand new engine if it is something that can be replaced um and it doesn't require the whole engine to be removed and also don't expect to get a brand new engine because i also thought i would get a brand new engine and that wasn't the case i got a refurbished engine block so just to give you guys a heads up don't expect to get a new engine and don't expect that you know they will uh cover all like change everything within the engine and all that it's it, they're just going to focus on the thing that needs to be changed specifically if there's other parts of the engine that are not damaged they won't change it so don't expect that you're going to get a new engine so pretty much like i said that was the issue that i had with the kia optima jdi theta engine recall they have one like i said 1.4 million recalls and there's a class action lawsuit i'm going to put in the description where you guys can go to these websites and check it out and try to get like some type of compensation if you have been affected by the the recall and your engine stalling but typically what will happen is when you drive the engine will stall out and i have a i have a uh, automatic car it's not a manual so there's no reason it should be stalling out it's not like a, it's a stick shift or any of that so if this happens to you guys make sure that you go and get it fixed do not pay out of pocket because to replace an engine it could be up to six thousand dollars so go to your kia dealership and if you haven't had the issue make sure that you get it tested because for me when i took it it was like, am I going to have to pay 6000 for a new engine? Because if that wasn't the issue, then that's something that I would have had to pay for. But typically, it's like a little, it's a knocking noise that you'll hear. And that, it can get very bad when it, like, when the engine's going to fail, it's like really bad. And it just sounds like your engine is grinding metal on the inside. So if you guys have this issue, take the car to the dealership. But pretty much before the issue starts, and I remember always hearing like a little ticking sound from the very moment I got my car, which I got brand new in 2013. And it was like that, it was like a tick, 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 tick. So, but it's very light and very subtle. Over time, it can get worse. But if you guys hear any of that kind of noise, 
and you're just concerned, make sure to get your car tested. But my car is at 99,000 miles now, so it's been 3,000 miles since I got my engine block replaced. And they said there's no limit to um, the amount of mileage is the the amount of mileage that you can have on your car for this recall. I don't know how much that is true, but they said if your car is over 100,000 and you had a 100,000 mile warranty that you could still get your engine fixed. I can't confirm that. So I would recommend if you're under 100,000 just to be safe, go get your car checked out, but they did say that there is no limit to amount of the amount of mileage that you can have on your car. And they, I have heard that it goes up to 120,000 miles for this issue, but uh, the dealership told me that, but I don't know how true that is, so I wouldn't really go off of it. I would go off of if you're under 100,000, go get your car checked out before you reach 100,000. Luckily, my issue happened at 96,000 miles. So go get that checked out, be safe out there, and let me see if there's any else, anything else that I had to tell you guys. Um, I believe that's it. Yeah. That, that's pretty much it. But I'll put the number for the Kia 24 roadside assistance in the description. I'll put some of the links to the website so that you guys can read on these uh, recall issues. And if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it in the, uh, in the comments below. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, make sure you stay safe out there. I personally would not recommend buying a Kia. Like, I remember when they changed the model design and they made the Kias look a lot nicer and everything for that reason is why i got a kia but from an internal aspect it's not worth it so i would recommend going with toyota or honda or something that will be more reliable and a lot safer so this is something that should not you guys should not stand for and it's just ridiculous that kia let this slide and now they have a class action lawsuit and they have 1.4 million cars that have been recalled so stay safe out there guys and remember if you have any questions leave in the comments below and just get in contact with your local kia dealership to check out the theta gdi recall on kia models and hondas between the years 2011 to 2014 but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one peace